Climate action matters to us all and it begins at home. Today we're going to delve into the world of renewable energy and look at the range of supports available to homeowners in Ireland. With me is Helen Williams, the National Retrofit Programme Manager for the SEAI, the Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland, and April McHale, our Daikin expert. So we learned about the energy efficiencies of heat pumps in the first video, and now we're delving into the supports available for homeowners. But before we get into the nitty gritty of that, Helen, can you talk to me about why the grants were set up? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I suppose it comes down to SEAI's mission, uh, and that mission is to uh, reduce and replace fossil fuels. And one of the ways you can do that is by helping, by supporting homeowners um, in making energy efficiency improvements to their home. And as a homeowner, if you do carry out an energy upgrade on your home, you can expect to see um, a more comfortable home, a healthier home, there's less damp, a fewer drafts, it's a more pleasant place to be. Um, we'd hope as well you'd see a reduction in your energy bills. And just as important, uh, you're protecting yourself against future energy price rises. So what specific role does the SEAI have in facilitating these home energy upgrades? I suppose that there's probably two main ways that, um, that, that spring to mind. The first is obviously grants. So SEAI provides a range of different grants for um, specific energy upgrades, um, including heat pumps, of course, but also insulation, solar panels and things like that. We're a trusted source that homeowners can come to if they're looking for advice about what to do with their home, they aren't sure where to start. They can give us a call, they can go to our website and um, one, of the, um, one of our advisors will be able to talk you through your options. So the grants are specific to renovation works and it's very much retrofitting older houses that we're looking at with them. Could you talk us through the types of grants that are available and who's eligible for them? There are a couple of different options you can go down. There's sort of, I suppose, three main grant strands for homeowners who are interested in getting a heat pump or any other type of, um, of energy upgrade. So there are the fully funded upgrades, which used to be called warmer homes. It's for homeowners who are in receipt of certain welfare payments. So it depends on the homeowner rather than the property. Um, but if you aren't in that situation, if you're not in receipt of those payments, which are all listed online, I should say, on our website, um, there's other options as well. So. There's the individual energy upgrades, which used to be called Better Energy Homes, and there's the one-stop shop. So the individual energy upgrades are really just one-off grants that um, the homeowner can apply for themselves um, and, and, and get the grant reimbursed to them. And then the one-stop shop, which I'll talk a little bit more about later anyway, um, is more of what we call a deep retrofit. It's a package of measures. So the individual measures route is a great option for homeowners who want to, um, either they're only interested in one particular energy upgrade, for example, a heat pump, um, or perhaps they, they want to do a couple of bits and pieces, but they want to spread it out over a longer period of time. They don't want to get it all done in one go. Um, so if you're in that situation or you think you are, take a look at our website, review the list of contractors and read through the, the instructions there and you can take it from there. In terms of the eligibility uh, criteria for both the individual measures and the one-stop shop, as I mentioned, your home has to be built and occup occupied before 2011 but there's no restrictions on the homeowner yourself. So you have to live in the home um, and that's about it. So it's, it's great, it's not means tested. There's no sort of criteria that you yourself have to meet there. So from that perspective, it's very straightforward. So for example, a homeowner that wanted to get, um, you know, say a heat pump um, and some insulation done, um, if they had a detached home and they were getting, uh, you know, say uh, external wall insulation, attic insulation, the heat pump, um, under the individual measures route, they'd be looking at a grant of €16,000 and then they could also get an additional €200 Euro for, for the technical assessment piece that they need for the heat pump. And then if they went down the one-stop shop route, it'd be 20000 with again an additional 350 for the um, for the energy assessment beforehand. Okay, April, so talk me through a little bit of the process when a homeowner is heat pump ready, you know, their house has quite a lot of the stuff in place that they would need. What's the process for getting one installed? Sure. Well, um, I'll give you an example maybe of, of a project I worked on recently. So we had a homeowner in Kildare who had an existing, quite an old existing property, um, which was being fully upgraded and renovated and remodeled with the new extension. And so the homeowner would have contacted us to get some advice on the type of heat pump that would suit the application uh, to discuss, you know, the combination of radiators and underfloor heating, the fact that there's an old section of building, a new section of building. So we were able to talk through all of that and give them some guidance and also guidance, of course, on, on the grants that SAI offer. 
So in this particular instance, um, the homeowner, the, their main concern was actually around the hot water production. And the reason for that is because this four daughters in this household and they all had long hair and, you know, he was highly concerned about if he was ever going to get a shower himself. So the, the big thing there was to, um, was actually to size the domestic hot water to suit the family's needs. So we would take the homeowner's plans, get them in here to the office. Our engineering team would do a full heat loss calculation, which is a room by room calculation to assess the, the size of the heat pump to provide the heating required for the house, but also to, to size the domestic hot water storage to suit the family's needs, which is critical, obviously. Um, so we, we, we did all of that for, for the homeowner, advised on the, you know, our recommendation, the best type of, of, of model, because obviously we have a, a very large range of products. Um, so we fine tuned it down to suit exactly the application that he had. Um, we then recommended an installer in his local area, Dykin trained installer, who's obviously also SAI registered so that he could claim the grant. And uh, we would provide all of the technical support around that then. So we provide mechanical and electrical schematics. Uh, we also provide all the information that's needed on the grant application in relation to the, the pump technology itself. And then once the installation is complete, we would send our engineer out to do the commissioning. And as part of the commissioning, they're setting up the parameters in the heat pump to, you know, suit the hot water production and the heating around how the family lives and then do a handover with the homeowner to show them this is how you use your system and these are the things you need to look out for. So it, it's a combination of, I suppose, the design elements of the system, the advice around um, the grants that are available, recommending an installer and doing the commissioning so that we know we can sign off on that project with peace of mind that the homeowner has a really good system. So if you are well able and well confident to go down the route of the website and find out about the grants, how do you find out if you're eligible? Like I know you're saying we're not means tested. To be honest, it's, it is nowadays very straightforward. We've really, we've, we've made a concerted effort to kind of make it as simple as possible so that there aren't lots of restrictions in not having to review a checklist and decide whether or not you're eligible. I mean, if you're going to go down the individual measures route, as I said, it's the age of the home. And I suppose the other one is to make sure that you haven't received a grant for that specific measure before. With the with the one stop shop, it's a little bit more complex in the sense that with that project, we're looking at the before and after. So with the one stop shop grant, the idea is that following the completion of all the works, your home is going to be at a BER, B2 or better afterwards. So it's about incentivizing that deep retrofit basically getting your home to a point where you're not going to need to do any more work on it ever again. So what we always say is if you want to get a grant for a heat pump from SEAI, you do need to get a heat pump technical assessment carried out first. Um, that is really, it's, it's, a, it's a full assessment of your home and it's looking basically at whether or not you're going to need to do any energy efficiency works like insulation before you get the heat pump. Um, but again, there's a list of registered um, assessors on our website and there's a grant available for 200 euro to, to cover that assessment. April, so we know Daikin works with an installer network throughout Ireland. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how they're trained, how they work, everything really? So over the years, we have built up a very substantial installer network around the country. We have a merchant network as well that we deal with. And so, you know, homeowners and installers alike can go into these um, merchants to get information about our products and we have showrooms in, in certain parts of the country as well. But um, in relation to the installer network, we have a, a dealer map on our website, which makes it very easy for homeowners to go on and, and find a, a local installer in their area. And from our side, um, you know, supporting our installers is very, very important to us because we need to ensure that the the quality of heat pump installs is kept to a very high standard. So we run a lot of training courses here from our base in City West in Dublin. And we have a, a pretty substantial training facility. Um, we're running training now a couple of days a week. What kind of questions are you getting from homeowners? Because I kind of want to hear this. I want to know what are the questions I'm not asking you? Questions will be around, you know, the, the actual units themselves. You can see the outdoor unit there. Where do I locate it? has to go out in my garden. I'm not used to having anything out there. Can I cover it? The answer is no, you cannot. Um, it has to be left clear. You have to have 
um, plenty of space to let the air circulate around it. Otherwise, you're going to just strip all the air of its temperature and you're going to be pulling in freezing cold air continuously and it's not going to be efficient. So that's a very common question. Um, the location of the indoor unit then, you know, where does it fit in the house? How big is it? And, you know, the, the, the technology is so well designed nowadays to fit in with your white goods, actually, because our indoor unit, 600 by 600 footprint, so it fits in your utility room with your, your washing machine, your tumble dryer, whatever. Um, and they can also be put in the hot press. So if you're in an existing property where you have an existing hot water cylinder, cylinder comes out, indoor unit or replacement cylinder goes in there. So they would be kind of a lot of the the main questions that we get asked. I think the other the other one that that we get asked quite a lot is around um, the existing heating system. You know, and do I need to get underfloor heating? The answer is no. Um, you know, is there a grant available? You know, if I do need new radiators, and the answer is yes. But I think a lot of people, because it is it is still a lot to a lot of people quite new. They think, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to need to tear up all the floors. I'm going to need, to... but actually, not necessarily the case. And as I said, we do provide grants just to cover that, that, that those additional costs. Grants can be a bit onerous when it comes to applying for them. So, like, have you any tips when it comes to yeah. making it a little bit easier? I suppose the first thing to remember is the sequence of events, and that's really the only place you can get tripped up. You have to get grant approval before you get any work done. Choose a contractor, apply. You get automatic approval. You know, the, the approval comes through straight away on email. There's no sort of writing letters and waiting for the post and all that, you know, it's, you get your approval straight away and then you can get the works done. When the works are done, you just need to upload your, your declaration of works, which is basically, the, you know, the piece of paper saying that the works have been carried out uh, and the invoice. And then, um, then that's it. With the one-stop shop, it's even easier again, because there it's the one-stop shop, the registered one-stop shop, who's actually applying for the grant on your behalf. The grant's reimbursed to them and then as a homeowner, you're only paying for the cost of the works net of the grant. So you're sort of out of that whole grant loop completely, which is obviously even better, even easier. Yeah, I like that system now. I think that would open up grants to a lot more people because you're not kind of paying for everything up front. With the one-stop shop, there's additional grants too for things like project management because the one-stop shop is project managing it. So you'll get a little contribution towards that. You'll get a little contribution towards things like the central heating. A few other bits and pieces. We have what we call a heat pump bonus under the one-stop shop scheme, an extra 2,000 euro. Um, just to just to kind of help with that sort of um, that little hurdle that might be in some people's minds. So, April, what types of homeowners have you seen taking up heat pump installations for their homes? The different kind of categories that they might fall into. You have obviously the new builds that we spoke about earlier. That would be probably at this stage it really is the biggest cohort of people. You know, because as we said earlier about um, compliance with the building regulations, new homes, you really have to install a heat pump now to meet compliance. Um, second category would be the likes of the deep retrofits that Helen referred to there. A lot of those deep retrofits, people are looking towards the one-stop shops. Um, the third category would be the boiler breakdowns. And that's something where we really need to give a lot of encouragement to people, I think, um, and probably provide a lot more knowledge to them to be able to make the decision at that point to, to take on a heat pump install. Uh, as opposed to choosing to go back and, and replace an oil boiler or replace a gas boiler. And then the, the final one is quite interesting. We're actually starting to see a replacement market for heat pumps now. So how's the uptake been on the grants? It's good. It's good. It's, I suppose the big thing is it's growing and it's incredible, actually, in the past couple of years to see the increase there. Now, the One Stop Shop Scheme, which is the, the program I work on specifically, uh, is, is fairly new. It launched last summer. Um, but the demand right from the right from the word go was was very very high, and we know that a lot of people out there really want to do that deep retrofit. There's a lot of concern nowadays about climate change, and people do want to do their bit. They want to move away from fossil fuels. It just it doesn't make sense anymore to still be doing that, and that's great to see, you know. And actually, in the last couple of years, people are starting to be concerned about the security of energy, and that's something we hadn't seen before. So, uh, what how secure is the um, the, the availability of oil and gas to this country. Whereas if you if you think about what, what the government is trying to do in electrifying heat, you know, electrify the heat in your home, electrify as many things as you can and generate the electricity here on the island through through wind, wind energy and solar, solar energy. And really, you're on to a real winner then. 
Thanks to Helen and April for their valuable insights on creating a greener home. In our next video, we'll be delving into the assessment and installation phases of your heat pump journey.